guys in today's video we are going to talk about how to successfully give an interview on Babel. This video is a continuation of how to get started with Babel interview so follow the previous video before jumping into this tutorial. On the preview page once you select the start interview button on the right of the screen you will be directed to a page that looks like this. On this instructions page as you can see you will be provided with an overview of the section that you will be appearing for along with the total number of questions in this section, the total time provided for the entire section and a tip about the format to answer the questions. On the bottom right corner of this section you will find a continue button in green which you need to select. On selecting this button you will be directed to a page with the MCQ questions on the left and the timer on the top right and a screen reviewing you on the center right of the page. Once you answer the questions, you can select the next question option right below the screen reviewing you. On the other hand, if you run out of time as per the timer, then the section automatically records your partial response and moves to the next page. On the second instructions page, as you can see, you will be provided with an overview of the section that you will be appearing for along with the total number of questions in this section and the total time provided for the entire section. On the bottom right corner of this section, you will find a continue button in green which you need to select. On selecting this option, you will be directed to a page where you will be provided with the 10 second time to read the verbal question with the timer on the top and the question in the middle of the page. Once the 10 seconds are over, you will be directed to a page like this. On this live interview page, you will find your mirror image on the left along with the retake option and timer on the bottom left and the submit option at the bottom right of the frame. On the right of this page, you will find the question counter and timer at the top right, the question at the center right, and the next question as well as retake options at the bottom right of the page. Once you answer the questions, you can select the next question option. On the other hand, if you run out of time as per the timer, then the section system automatically records your partial response and moves to the next page. On the third instructions page, similarly, you will be provided with an overview of the section that you will be appearing for along with the total number of questions in this section and the total time provided to you for this entire section. On the bottom right corner of this section, you will find a continue button in green which you need to select. On selecting this option, you will be directed to a page where you will find the question on the top left and the timer and your image on the bottom left of your page. On the right side of the page you will find two blank boxes. On the top you will see a select a language option, number of executions left and a run button attached to the first blank space. In the selection language box you need to select the language or languages in which you will be permitted to code and start coding in the blank box. Once you complete writing the code, you need to select the run button on the top right corner and the system will provide you with a response regarding the correctness of your code. If it fails to run, then you need to check for the mistakes you made while writing the code. Once your code is successfully run with no errors, move down to the second blank box. Here, at the top of the box, you will find three options, stand-in, output terminal, and submit. Select the stand-in option and copy-paste your code from the first blank box. Now move to the output terminal box and check the result your code is providing. If you are not getting the right input, then recheck your code in the first blank box and repeat the entire process from execution to output checking. On the other hand, if the output is correct, then select the third or submit option. This will redirect you to a page that looks like this, 
where you will be informed that your response has been successfully submitted. So that was an overview of how to give an interview on Birbal successfully. If you have further questions, contact smita at the rate cronji.com.